Welcome the Military Defense TV, a United States infantry company arrived in Estonia this week as part of NATO's effort to bolster the military bloc's eastern border with Russia, the Baltic country's defense ministry has revealed. A statement published on the ministry's website on Friday said that U.S. service members are stationed at Tara base in the town of Vora, some 20 kilometers from the Russian border. Commenting on the U.S. service members' arrival, Colonel Matty Tykerpo, the commander of the 2nd Infantry Brigade of the Estonian Defense Forces, said he expects to be able to integrate our allies on a brigade level and gain an additional maneuver unit. Colonel Richard Ikena, U.S. 1st Infantry Division Artillery Commander, said American troops are excited to be in Estonia and look forward to working shoulder to shoulder alongside our allies. Right now, um, again, I don't have anything to announce, but we're going to continue to uh, adapt. We're going to uh, continue to stay flexible and we're going to continue to work with Ukraine to ensure they're getting what they need. The statement added that Washington is also expected to deploy a HIMARS platoon to Estonia along with associated command and control equipment and systems. Defense Minister Hanno Pevker said this would allow Estonian troops to learn the ropes of operating the multiple launch rocket systems before it receives its own HIMARS units by 2025. The ministry said the arrival of U.S. service members would be proof of Washington's and Tallinn's shared values and interests and would serve to illustrate the excellent defense and security relations between the two nations. Military officials in Tallinn put the need for an increased NATO presence in the country down to the deteriorating security environment in Europe and to Russia's unprovoked aggression in Ukraine. Moscow, in turn, has repeatedly condemned the buildup of the alliance's forces on its borders and the funneling of arms into Ukraine, saying this will only prolong the conflict without changing the outcome. We will look at a full spectrum of security assistance uh, and defensive capabilities that are available within our common inventories uh, when we consider Ukraine's needs. 